I've been uh, privileged this weekend to have a lot of the students that I taught down in eastern Kentucky. They're grown, came up here and made a living, raised their families, and they've all come out to see me, and I appreciate that. They make me feel old. Make you feel what? Yeah, I've got students that come up to me when I hold them on a school bus. It makes me feel old, too. I drove a bus for a while. I've got to tell you about old Vince. He's born and raised down in Hanover, Kentucky. Yeah. Right up ahead of a little old holler there. About four miles out the edge. No, it's about eight miles out of the edge of town there, kind of. Got a little seam of coal right here. I've been down there and right in the backyard there. There's a little mountain that goes running through there, and there's about a seam about 12 inches thick. But over here on the right-hand corner, there's a little white building out there that Vince and his brother, when they come up to Ohio to, to, uh, to work, and they'd go back home and catch a Greyhound bus and go back home. They'd stay in that uh, when they got back home. But when Vince first married, he, uh, he lived in that little old house out there for a while. And, of course, back then they had them possum dogs, and, you know, there wasn't many coons back then. They had more possum dogs than there was anything, you know. But... Anyhow, they was out there one day, they'd come in out of the field and, and uh, the, this old blue, blue tick hound was laying out there under the shade tree and it was just laying there as a sound asleep, but it was just a wiggling and a jerking and a going on and having off his motion. And Vince, I said, Daddy, he said, what's wrong with that dog? He said, he lost his mind. Oh, he said, no, son. He said, he's a dreaming. He said, he's a dreaming? He said, yeah. He said, well, what's he a dreaming about now? He said, son, I can't tell you that, but said, I'll tell you how you can find out. He said, go in there and tell your mama that you need one of them newspapers that they sent last week. And we everybody's done read it and about ready to throw it away. He said, get it. So Vince went in there and got a newspaper and he brought it out there and they folded it up and they lifted the dog's head up just a little and slid it up under it, you know, and let it lay back there. And it laid there and dreamed on that newspaper for three or four hours. And that night they took it in there, Vince did, and he laid it under his head. About three o'clock in the morning, Jackie run out the front door and run over down there and knocking on the back door and said, come help me, Mr. Combs, right quick. Said, come help. Said, I believe Vince done lost his mind. <laughs> Mr. Combs got up and come to the back door and he said, Jackie, honey, what's wrong? He said, poor Vince there here in the backyard and said he's got his head hung in a salmon can. 